Hey Kings Hill family, I hope you're doing well today. Hope that you got to enjoy some sunshine over the weekend. It was a great holiday. Good to see some of you guys at the picnic this past Sunday. I want to take a, a few moments and talk about Hamilton. And I uh, am probably going to sound like a hashtag, but uh, I just I think it's uh, uh, a fun conversation to have given... Um, the holiday, and if you, if you don't know anything about Hamilton, uh, provide you a bit of context. It's a Broadway musical that came out, I believe, in 2015. It was recorded during its time on Broadway, and it was recently released as a feature-length film onto Disney+. Plus. So uh, there I am paying Disney uh, for some advertisement, plugging them. I uh, had the opportunity to watch Hamilton this past weekend, and it deals with the historical character Alexander Hamilton, <clears throat> who played a pretty crucial role in uh, the writing of the Constitution, and, and uh, he's a founding father, uh, played a part in the Revolutionary War, really uh, uh, an, uh, an intriguing character, an interesting character, uh, a mysterious character person in history, um, just in, in the sense of what motivated him, what guided him. The, 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 broad, the Broadway production is phenomenal. Uh, I encourage you to watch it. It's, uh, it's a good story. Uh, and, I, and I believe God is in the business of telling stories, and I, and I believe that he is in fact a storyteller, which is why as Christians, uh, when, when, when we either read a story, watch a story, we're able for humans in general something in us resonates with good stories and i think especially as christians because we see how god's hand plays out through different events in history when we intake a good story there's something in us that 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 agrees with it that says yes when, when all the right things fall into place and with hamilton as good of a story as it is, as good as the storytelling is, the songs, the rhyming, the dancing, uh, ultimately, uh, Alexander Hamilton uh, is, a, is a tragedy. It's, it's a, it's a, he's a sad character. He's a tragic character. He's a flawed character. And I think that's one reason why the play is so powerful, because it paints him in, in all of his uh, different... <laughs> vices and virtues. He was an amazing writer. He was he was a powerful influencer. He was able to persuade people. He was uh, a soldier. He, he fought in the Revolutionary War. He was all these heroic things that, that we want in a leader, and yet he was also very flawed and uh, a, a weak man, uh, a man sus susceptible to temptation. And that's that's one reason why I love the Bible, because the characters we encounter in the Bible are not written to be heroes. If anything, the Bible goes out of its way to do just the opposite. We are, we are made to see the flaws of the heroes of the Bible. And that's why I, I appreciate Hamilton, because it doesn't shy away from the tragedy of his life and from his flaws. And, and, and that's really what the entire Bible is supposed to do, is to show us examples of leaders who are miserably flawed because there's only one perfect leader that's supposed to arise above the rest of them. I was talking uh, about this with our friend Sam Err uh, a couple weeks ago, J just how the, 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 the repeating chorus throughout the Old Testament and the leaders in the New Testament, but leading up to Jesus, the re repeating chorus is failure, 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 which on one hand is really encouraging because it gives hope to somebody like me who lives a life filled with failures, that God uses people like me and has mercy and grace for people like me. And it points my attention towards the ultimate object of our faith. And, and that's why Hamilton for me was so good, but it left me Longing, I, I, I see Hamilton as, the, as a great leader, and he truly was, yet he wasn't everything we need in a leader, everything we need in a hero. And that's the power of Christianity, because we have a man 
who fulfills all the requirements and is God himself sacrificing his own life to save ours. That he's the true quintessential hero. He, he gives up his life. He's perfectly selfless. He's perfectly compassionate. He's full of justice and righteousness. And he's kind and gentle. Uh, and so watch Hamilton. Watch good stories. Read good stories. And, and let those stories point you to our ultimate story with Jesus being at the center 